Good morning, Bryce, and I hope everyone has had a good start to their Friday. It's much cooler out there. If you've walked outside, you probably noticed the humidity has really went down thanks to this cold front now moving along the Gulf Coast. So again, it is going to be a much cooler, much drier weekend, and I'm personally looking forward to that. I love fall weather. We're going to get a little taste this weekend. Currently, we're starting to warm up. Temperatures near 70 degrees here in Greenville. As for Greenwood, still in the 60s, uh, 62 degrees. So uh, good morning to you. Enjoy this cool weather and along the I-55 corridor. That's where the coolest temperatures have been this morning into the mid 60s, closer to 70 along the Mississippi River. So we're going to continue to warm up through the rest of the day and no rain expected. Take a look at the radar. No rain for as far as the eye can see. A couple of showers into the Gulf of Mexico, but other than that, things are quiet. So let's track out the day again. No rain expected. We will have gusty winds at times up to 20 miles per hour. Temperatures are going to rise into the 80s and there will be some showers along the Gulf Coast, but take a look at this as we go into tomorrow morning. Temperatures going to start out in the mid 50s. Some of the coolest air we've had in quite some time. Still going to be that potential for some showers along the coast. So again, beach weather will not be as good as what we're going to have here in the Delta and Saturday really going to be a lot cooler. We're looking at low 80s to maybe even upper 70s. So some locations could struggle to get out of the 70s tomorrow. But again, we are just going to have this constant rain moving along the Gulf Coast. And as we head into next week, the forecast starts to get a little tricky because we're going to be tracking this area of moisture. And again, there is the tropical depression to our south that's going to be influencing some of this rain along southeast Texas and Louisiana coastlines as far north as central Louisiana. And as we head into Monday, again, that rain is going to start to sneak a little bit closer to the delta. So a lot of uncertainties with the forecast for next week, especially for our rain chances. But as for now, we're going to keep those rain chances relatively low Monday through Thursday. But this can change, definitely subject to change depending on what Tropical Depression 22 decides to do. As for our rainfall almanac, it's been a while since we checked on that, but for the month we're at about an uh, inch and a quarter, which is close to the average. And this year we're still running about an eight inch surplus at 44.31 inches. But really the last three months, a lot drier than the first six months of the year. Um, but again, that could change, especially as we start to head into the rainy season. As for the tropical depression that I was talking about, this is 22 will likely become Wilfred, which is the last name on the hurricane list for the year. And again, the last time we got to W was 20, uh, 2005, which was Wilma. And again, that didn't occur until October 15th, 16th time frame. So this is a lot earlier, likely going to be the most active season ever. But again, this storm, a lot of uncertainties. Take a look at that track, kind of wonky, just going to do a couple of turns close to Texas. But again, there's still so much uncertainty. We're going to continue to watch this closely. We also have a strong Hurricane Teddy out into the Atlantic expected to become a four later on. That'll be the second category four storm of the year. And again, it's going to continue into the north. Not going to turn before it hits Canaan. Actually looking like Nova Scotia may take a direct impact as a category one or two hurricane. Uh, pretty rare, but definitely something to watch out for. And we're also tracking another system that may become tropical in the next five days. About a 60% chance of that happening. But for today, just highs of 84, partly cloudy, breezy, low humidity, the perfect day. And as we go into tonight, lows ranging from the mid to upper 50s, partly cloudy, much cooler. One of the coolest nights we've had probably since early May. And by tomorrow, highs of 81, mostly sunny, breezy, comfortable. Those north northeast winds are going to continue. Clouds build back in for the early part of next week, and then we're tracking the potential for some rain sometime next week. Again, this forecast is definitely subject to change. And again, first day of fall coming in Tuesday, highs only of 79.